everyone, it's Charlton. So the 12 uh, boys on the soccer team in Thailand, ages I think 11 years old up to 16, and the 25-year-old coach, all 12 boys and the coach have been found alive who were trapped in, the, in a cave in northern Thailand for the last 10 days uh, because, of, uh, well, uh, because of rising flood water. They believe they just went in there for some reason, you know, and um, got trapped. And I, I'm assuming they, they had to push further and further into the cave as the water levels continued to rise. I think, oh, I mean, my wife's been asking me about the story, what's going on with those kids in Thailand, the soccer team in Thailand. You know, I think a lot of people wrote them off and that, uh, that they were presumed, you know, dead. And, uh, but, but they have been found alive. I think they still have time to go. I mean, they, they haven't actually emerged from the cave yet. And that's what this is a live stream of the scene. You know, uh, it's 11 or it's almost midnight in Thailand right now. They're like 11 hours ahead of us in, on the East Coast in, um, in the United States in Philadelphia. So, um, but somehow they've made contact with them. They were close enough to determine that all 12 were alive, all 12 kids and the coach. You know, I think this morning the rescuers had come across writing on a wall which basically indicated to them that, you know, uh, you know, that they had, were going in the right direction. So, I mean, it was a huge development. And now, I mean, it's just shocking. I think everyone is completely stunned. There's video, um, I mean, was watching some of the family that are there. And the moms that are sitting there have been sitting camped out in front of the cave for the last 10 days, you know, along with Buddhist monks that have, you know, created like a vigil, you know, there. There's a massive rescue operation on the way. There's people all over the place. You can't even see them all in this picture here. So, you know, I was really hoping to see them emerge. You know, there's reporters everywhere. Um, you know, re, so re, see them emerge with the chill, with some of the kids coming out of there. But uh, I don't know that that's going to happen. I think we still have some time to go. But according to the governor of that province, if, if, if I have that correct, you know, there are indications that they're all alive, all 12 kids, then ages 11, uh, 11 to 16, and the coach is 25 year old, years old. Why they went into the cave in the first place is, you know, I mean, God only knows. And, and um, from what I understand, bikes were seen or spotted immediately in front of the entrance. And right as, you know, this massive flooding um, uh, emergency was going on and somebody quickly put it together. And actually, I believe one of the mothers reported that the child didn't come home. So, you know, they, they quickly surmised or surmised that, that, uh, that they were trapped in the cave. Then later they found, I think they found an opening, like a hidden uh, chimney, natural chimney, not far north of where the entrance was, where the bikes were located, you know, and I think they used that to advance, get a little bit closer in their rescue operations. The, the flooding waters have made it almost impossible, I think, at, at stages to continue, and, uh, but recently, in the last 24, 48 hours, flood waters have receded, allowing rescue teams with, you know... Um, uh, 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 um, like uh, um, machine-operated uh, diving, you know, vehicles that are you know, like man-operated from a, from a distance with drones and stuff like that. But the receding waters have allowed them to to get close. And again, this morning they found riding on the wall, just at least knowing that they're going in the right direction and that they're not just you know, um, you know, wasting valuable resources searching for you know searching in the wrong place. So, um, there's the team right there. That's a picture of the whole team, I believe, I'm assuming. And that's going to disappear in about two seconds when, which is when uh, the, the, the CNN video begins. The boys who range in ages from six, 11 to 16 years old and are all members of, of the Wild Boar soccer team entered the Tham Luang Nang Non Cave system on Saturday, June 23rd for a team outing but became stranded in the dark tunnels by a sudden and continuous downpour. The international rescue team, which includes the Thai Navy SEALs as well as experts from the uh, from U.S., China, Australia, and the U.K. had been working to reach the large deep chamber informally named Pattaya Beach, where they believe the boys had uh, taken refuge. I confirm they are all safe. Uh, the uh, Chiang Rai governor 
told reporters on Monday night. It's Monday night there. Said the rescuers had managed to reach uh, Pattaya Beach and found that it was also flooded. Thai Navy SEALs divers continued further 300, 400 meters where they located the team. Amazing. Wow. Our mission is not done yet. We will drain all the water out from the cave. Then we will take all 13 people out of the cave. We are now planning to ha planning how to send nurse and doctors inside the cave to check their health and movement. We will work all night. This is going to be a while, but they're but they've been found alive. A park officer first sounded the alarm after spotting the boys' bicycles near the entrance to the off-limits cave complex. The cave labyrinth is popular with tourists. And for the uh, first kilometer or so inside the cav cavernous entrance, limestone lock formations hug, hug high ceilings and create an almost amphitheater-like atmosphere. Last week, trekkers discovered a hidden opening deep in the jungle, giving an alternative point of entry to the cave system. The natural chimney around 1.5 meters in diameter and at least 22 meters, 72 feet deep, was found to the north of the opening of the cave where the boys' bikes were found last Saturday. I assume they used that to assist in the rescue. I assume that's why, you know, that was a major development. So it's 11.40, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's almost a full... You know, it's uh, you know, it's almost a full twelve twelve hours ahead in Thailand. Um, so it's twelve. It's 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 eleven forty seven p.m. there right now. That's why it's, it's night time. Uh, July second. I think that's one of the rescue personnel maybe talking to reporters. That's what they're reaching up to film. I'm really not sure. It's going to be a while before the before the team emerges from there, but they've been found. They uh, somehow know that they're all alive, all twelve boys and the soccer coach, and they're trying to get uh, drain it more and get doctors and nurses in there and and make it completely safe for them to be extracted from the they're that, they're that deep in there. I don't know if if they had to keep going further and further in to avoid rising waters. That would be my that would be my guess. But after 10 days, them being rescued is, a, is an absolute miracle. All right, thanks for watching my videos. Please subscribe to my channel. Give me a like down below. I will see you in the next video. Later, man.